everyone, for some reason I've decided to film a TBR video, even though I don't follow TBRs. I'm I'm too I'm too stubborn to read what I've told myself I'm gonna read. And what I want to read changes like every 30 seconds. So this will be interesting. <laughs> I've decided to do a TBR this month because I have an unboxing to do. However, it's only going to be one book so I figured I may as well talk about the other books that I'm probably going to want to read this month. I got a package from the Willoughby Book Club this morning. I'm going to talk about them in a minute but quickly I just want to tell you the books that I'm thinking of getting to this month. So first of all I want to read Selected Poems by T.S. Eliot. I read like one last night. It's really short and it's poetry so I should be able to get through this pretty quickly. I'm also in the middle of reading Out of the Blue by Sophie Cameron and I'm like halfway through it and I'm really enjoying it so far. But this is all about a girl who her mum's died and her younger sister and her dad are basically like obsessed with these beings that have started to fall from the sky and then one day a being falls in front of her alive and it's just kind of like about her and like hiding this being and trying to communicate with this being and it's just so much fun so far it's also got really good lgbt rep and femme femme as well by the way because like i am so over <laughs> male male relationships give me the girls who love girls and all other types of sexuality because you know it's also got some like health rep um health rep wow <laughs> I don't want to give spoilers, but yeah, I'm loving this so far. This month I'm also planning a buddy read with Mira Nair for Sophie's World by Justine Garder, which I had this, I've had this copy for years and then I was in a charity shop yesterday and I picked up this copy. It was just really pretty and I couldn't resist it. Neither of these are the same edition that Mira has, so it's not like I can use the excuse that I was going to buy it for the fact that it would be the same copy. Why is English not working for me today? I'm just too excited to unbox this thing. So this book is like a really kind of philosophical book and like it deals with like the history of philosophy but in fiction. Basically this 14 year old girl called Sophie. Oh my god Emma the book's called Sophie's World. This follows Sophie who comes home one day and there's like two envelopes like two letters in her mailbox and one says who are you? And the other says, where does the world come from? And it basically just sparks this like philosophical thing and this philosopher keeps sending letters to Sophie that's actually addressed to a girl called Hilda. So it's gonna be really interesting and something completely different, I think, and I'm looking forward to reading it. And the last three books I'm really needing to read in May are ARCs. <laughs> One of them came out in March and the other two came out in April, so I'm quite behind. So I wanna read She, Myself and I by Emma Young, which, it's something to do with like a brain transplant I believe like this girl is basically having her brain put in another body because she's dying so it's really short I need to get to this. I also have Stranger by Karen David which has something to do with like it's one of those it's like an alternate like timeline not an alternate timeline alternating timeline so it's got Astor Ontario 1904 and Astor Ontario 1994 and there's like one person who's like connected to both and apparently there's secrets and a love story so I'm hoping for like a good bit of mystery but it's quite a chunky one however if it's as mysterious as I'm hoping I should fly through it and the final book on my TBR I Stop Summer by T.E. Carter which is something to do with rape and murder I think the main character is like a ghost I could be completely wrong but everyone's been raving about this, so. Okay, now for the really exciting part. Back in March, I decided to subscribe to the Willoughby Book Club, these guys. And basically, it's a UK-based subscription service. At the moment, they only have like three, six, nine month subscriptions or something like that. But basically, they send you a book each month that's like tailored to you. So like you tell them authors you like, books, like genres you like. I actually gave them the link to my Goodreads and they contacted me and said can we send you something off your wish list? Now my wish list is like over 400 books and my wish list is very eclectic. I have my highly desired books that are like I am going to go out and buy this as soon as possible and then I have the why the hell am I even considering this book? So I don't know what they'll have sent me. They could have sent me something that I've since removed from my wish list because I've like changed my mind and by that I mean like I've looked at it and thought I'm never going to buy that. So 
who knows what they've said but I am so excited I as I said I subscribed back at the end of March but I subscribed on the cutoff day which meant I didn't get this in April it started in May so I'll be getting this for the next three months well this month and the next two months and I'm so excited it works out I have like a 10% discount code which I think I actually have a code that I will leave below so you guys can get 10% off shipping to the UK is free and for me it worked out at like £10 a month so that's £10 per book they do a mix of like paperback hardback you know they will try and like switch it up a bit for the mystery value I'm all for it I don't know how coherent that was because I'm so excited I don't know I'm gonna have like it's probably gonna motivate me to finish out the blue so then I can start it but it's gonna take a lot for me to like just not dive into it I cannot get into this I need scissors this is not easy oh my gosh it's got tape and glue oh my gosh I'm just like I'm trying not to damage the book but it requires so much strength okay oh oh yeah they wrap them up oh it comes with a little pin oh my gosh look look there's a little pin oh I love it if you guys watch my owl crayon unboxings you know I love pins I've started like collecting pins so badges like pins enamel pins and all that stuff I love there's a little sticker and we have a Willoughby book club bookmark that has like their social media and stuff and on the back it has a quote from Georges Louis Bourges which says I've always imagined that paradise will be like a library will be a kind of library I can't even read this is a hardback <laughs> I don't know what it is I'm so excited so yeah this is my book I'm like trying to like look through the paper like come on Emma oh I should show you guys first shouldn't I I don't know which way around it's supposed to be oh you know that book that has the, the like the set is like the seven deadly sins that's what this looks like can you see through there it's got like the things yeah I'm not I'm just gonna look at the same time as you oh my god it so is it so is it is it's seven ways we lie by Riley Redgate and look <laughs> You can get a little message if it's a gift. So they've obviously got this book belongs to our failure and it's got Emma, treat yourself. Because <laughs> that's what I wrote. Yes, Emma, treat yourself. So we get a little thing that says, hello, welcome to the Young Adult Book Club. This is your first book and you'll receive a new one every month for the next three months. Each book will be handpicked by the Willoughby, book Willoughby Bookworms, especially for you. We'll also donate one brand new book to Book Aid International. Happy reading. Oh my gosh, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's got like the... Hello my name, it's got a little bit of a dent but that's fine, that's fine. Oh wow. So I'm just gonna read the like a little bit on the inside for you guys. Paloma High School is ordinary by anyone's standards. It's got the same clicks, 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 those things. <laughs> the same prejudices, the same suspect, I can't read, the same suspect cafeteria food. And like at every high school, each student has something to hide. From Kat, the thespian who conceals her trust issues on stage, to Valentine, the neurotic genius who's planted the seed of a school scandal. When that scandal bubbles over and rumours of a teacher shouldn't affair surface, everyone starts hunting for someone to blame. For the seven unlikely allies at the heart of it all, their ordinary seeming lives result in extraordinary change. This sounds, I'm saying it sounds good like I'd never heard of it before, but yeah, like, oh, I'm so excited. See, this is one of those books that, like, is on the wish list, but I'm like, oh, will I ever actually get around to buying it, even though I want it? So, yes. <laughs> thank you so much to the person at Willoughby Books who picked this for me. Thanks to past Emma for treating yourself. <laughs> oh, this will be on my May TBR. Whether I get to it in May is another matter. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait for the next few months. And as I say, I believe I have like a discount code for you guys. I'm not sponsored by these guys or like working with them. I did pay for this. It's just they give everyone like an affiliate link basically. But it gets you guys 10% off, which highly, highly worth it. This, I'm so excited. <sighs> so there is my May TBR. As I said, the likelihood is I'm gonna change my mind as soon as I finish filming and be like no I want to read this instead but this is what I would like to get to so I hope you enjoyed my TBR and my Willoughby Book Club unboxing I am gonna disappear now for another day or two until I come back with something else <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye